In this next part of the program, you will tap along with me as we tap together on many of the common issues that underlie pain and emergency situations. For example, fear of the unknown, fear of this happening again, fear of the pain not going away, fear of more problems in the future, fear of infection, and so on. So just go ahead, tap along, and wherever I say the problem or the event, just go ahead and substitute your own specific event for those words that I state. So we'll go ahead and tap using the basic recipe, starting with the karate chop point, and say simply, even though I have this problem, name your problem, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I have this problem, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I have this problem, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I have this problem, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I have this problem, name your problem, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I have this problem, I deeply and completely accept myself. This problem. 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 Okay, a deep breath. Now I'll use the words this pain. And we'll just tap here once and say, even though I have this pain, I deeply and completely accept myself. This pain. 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 Okay, nice deep breath. Keep track of your numbers. Hopefully they're going down. If you were a high number, an eight or a nine, hopefully you're now down to a six or a seven or maybe lower. Now we'll tap on the future fear of more of this pain. So tap here and say, even though I'm afraid this pain will continue, I deeply and completely accept myself. This pain will continue. This pain will continue. Future pain. More future pain. Future pain. More pain. Future pain. Another breath. Now we'll tap on the idea that the pain might get worse. Either this pain or some other pain might get worse. So tap here and say, even though I'm afraid this pain might get worse, I deeply and completely accept myself. This pain might get worse. This pain will not get worse. This pain will get much worse. All pain gets worse. No pain gets worse. Pain gets worse. All pain. No pain. Worse pain. Okay, another breath. Let's tap on now the fear that this pain will spread to other parts of your body. So tap here and say, this pain might spread to other parts of my body and I deeply and completely accept myself. Pain might spread. Pain will spread. 
pain won't spread. Pain might spread. Pain might not spread. Pain spreads. Pain. Okay, another breath. So next round, let's tap on the opposite side of our body, just for good measure. Sometimes it feels better, sometimes it makes no difference at all. And let's tap now on any emotional association you have with this pain. Pick an event. It could be the event that caused the pain. It could be an event that pops into your mind that seems to be totally unrelated to the pain. Whatever it is, find an event and tap on that while saying, even though this event happened, name your event, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though the event happened, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though the event happened, I deeply and completely accept myself. The event. The event. Again, state your own event. The event. This event. The event. The event. The event. Okay, a breath, and now hopefully your number around the event has dropped as well. Now let's think about different aspects of the event. Was the one part of the event that was worse? For example, if there was a car crash, was it the sound of the breaking glass? Was the screech of tires? Was it the crash of bending metal? Was it screams? Was it sounds? Was it perhaps sights? Was it another driver's terrified face? Was it the sight of a passenger in your car? Was it a smell? The smell of blood? The smell of scorched tires? The smell of torn up earth? Whatever it might be, think about an aspect of the event that's particularly troublesome, and we'll tap on that. So focus on the aspect and tap here and say, even though I remember this aspect of the event, name the aspect, I deeply and completely accept myself. This aspect of the event. This aspect of the event. Again, name the aspect. This aspect of the event. 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 Okay, another nice deep breath. Now ask yourself, what childhood event does this event remind me of? What's the earliest time in your life you ever felt that same physical sensation in your body? So perhaps you're thinking about a car crash that happened two years ago, and you feel this, this tension in your heart area. But maybe you think back to the first experience you ever had of that heart tension, and it's when your mother punished you when you were three years old for uh, losing your socks. Okay, so let's think about mommy, and I lost my socks. So we have our physical feeling, we have our number, and we have our reminder phrase, lost socks, to remind us as we tap through the points, of a focus on the problem. So even though I had this bad event happen, name your event, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I had this bad event happen, name your event, I deeply and completely accept myself. One more time. Even though I had this event happen, and it hurt me deeply. I deeply and completely accept myself. This event. This event. This event. This event. This event. 
the civet, the civet. Okay, a breath. We'll tap again now on the reversal point, quite a chop point, and we'll just say the name of the event, then we'll tap on both sides of our body at the same time. So this event, this terrible event, name your event. This 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 event. Okay. Another breath. Now we'll do a round of tapping on any blame you have toward yourself for your contribution to the event. So tap along with me here and say, part of me blames myself for the event. And I still deeply and completely accept myself. Part of me blames myself for the event. And I still deeply and completely accept myself. Part of me blames myself for the event. And I still deeply and completely accept myself. I blame myself. I often blame myself. I always blame myself. I never blame myself. I always blame myself. I'm always to blame. I'm never to blame. I'm always to blame. I'm never to blame. I blame myself. Others blame me. I'm always to blame. I'm never to blame. Blame. Our next round of tapping is on the concept that I can never change. I'll always be this way. I'll always create these problems in my life. I can't ever change. So tap here and say, even though I can't change, and I'm always creating bad events in my life, I still deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I cannot change, I'm always creating bad events in my life. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I cannot change, I will always be this way, creating bad events in my life. I deeply and completely accept myself. I'll always be creating bad events. I'm always creating bad events. I always create bad events. I'm the creator of these bad events. I create bad events. It's all my fault. It's all my fault. Okay, another breath. One of the great psychologists of the 20th century, Aaron Beck, said, all our emotional suffering is linked to words like cannot, must, and should. And so we'll tap now around VFT on those kinds of thoughts you might be having, those kinds of cognitive beliefs around what happened. So tap with me and say, it should have been different. And I accept myself. I should have been different. And I accept myself. They should have been different. And I accept myself. They should have been different. I should have been different. I should have seen this coming. I should have seen this coming. I should be able to do better. I should be a better person. I shouldn't have these things happening. Bad things happen to good people. It shouldn't have happened to me. They shouldn't have done this. 
I shouldn't have done this. Shouldn't have happened. I shouldn't have happened. It shouldn't have happened. They shouldn't have happened. Shouldn't, couldn't, wouldn't. And I deeply accept myself. Oh, doesn't that feel good to get a weight off your chest and say those things? Even if they aren't really true, part of our minds is often still blaming ourselves and we have those little voices of self-criticism working there in the background, even if we know it wasn't our fault. Our final round of tapping is on fear of the unknown, fear of the unexpected, because often accidents, trauma, problems happen when we least expect them. We're just cruising along and suddenly, bam, something happens that really hurts us. So those unexpected shocks really can enter into our psyche. And if we don't clear them, we can start to become paranoid and afraid and worried and obsessive about when the next bad thing will happen, when the other shoe will drop. So this round of EFT will address that particular worry. So even though I'm afraid of the future, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I don't know what the future holds, I accept myself. Even though I have fear of the unknown, I don't know what's out there, what bad thing might happen, I accept myself. We'll tap on both sides again this time around. So tap here and say, bad things happen. Bad things may happen. Bad things do happen. Bad things always happen. Bad things never happen. Bad things happen. Bad things don't happen. Bad things never happen. Bad things might happen. I love and accept myself. Even with bad things happening, I don't know when the next bad thing might happen. I still accept myself. Bad things might happen, but I accept myself. Bad things, bad things, the unknown. It's out there to get me. I don't know what it is, but it might get me. Let's go ahead and keep tapping. People might get me. Accidents might get me. Disasters might get me, and I love and accept myself. I don't know what's going to get me. I don't know what's out there. There are threats out there. I can't always prepare for them. I accept myself. Threats out there. Fear of the unknown. Don't know what's out there. It's going to get me. I accept myself. Fear of the unknown. Fear of the future. Okay, and one last breath. Well, that has probably covered a lot of the bases for you. Probably one or more of those issues was your issue. Probably even if all of them weren't your issue, chunks of them were relevant to your case. Think now about issues that really are yours. If you resonated particularly with one of those statements, Make a note of that, think about early childhood events, and tap on those. So your homework is to notice which of these statements really triggered you, which ones brought up the most fear, the most emotional triggering for you, and then figure out what your emotional event was earliest in your childhood that this reminds you of, and go to EFT on that. Thank you so much for your attention. Go and heal.